In good health tonight, major changes could be coming for the most popular cosmetic procedure in the world. The FDA now proposing that all breast implants carry a warning label spelling out the risk of complications. Dr. Frank McGeorge is here now with more on this story. And you know what, Doc? This has a lot of women really concerned. Understandably so, Sandra and Jason, because the warning is called a black box warning. It is the strongest form of warning that the FDA issues. It would caution patients that they could be at risk for complications like fatigue, joint pain, and even a type of cancer. The proposed warning is for all implants, silicone, saline, textured, and smooth. The public and the implant industry will be able to comment on the recommendations before they're finalized. The move comes just three months after the agency recalled one type of textured breast implant made by Allergan and linked to a type of lymphoma called BIA-ALCL. The textured implant was marketed to be the most natural looking, with a suede-like texture to stay in place better. The recall letters hitting patients hard, including stage 4 breast cancer survivor Karen Thompson. I really don't remember much after that, but all I was thinking was, holy, holy cow, <laughs> I have this textured implant. Women are looking to their doctors for answers. Hundreds. We're probably close to a thousand calls um, in the last eight months. What do I do now? Give me some advice, doctor. Both Allergan and the FDA say patients who have no symptoms of the cancer should not remove these or other types of breast implants since the risk is low. But some doctors, including Dr. Elizabeth Potter, feel differently. I think women who have a history of breast cancer or who have a history of a genetic predisposition for breast cancer should think strongly about having their textured breast implants removed. The bottom line, talk to your doctor and watch for symptoms or complications like swelling, redness, fluid, a mass, joint pain, or fatigue. Now, it's important to note that the FDA has explicitly said breast implants are not lifetime devices. In fact, they estimate implants should last at least 10 years, but after that, the risk of them rupturing or other complications actually goes up. And patients really need to know they will likely need surgery to have their implants replaced or removed down the road. I don't think a lot of people think of it that way as well. They yeah. think yeah. short term on that. Right, they're not necessarily planning that far ahead. It's right. not a very well-known fact, for right. sure. Yeah. All right, thanks, thanks Doc. Doc. A much-loved school crossing guard in Arlington, Virginia, surprised with World Series tickets. This is Mr. Jeff. He's a crossing guard in elementary school and a big fan of the Washington Nationals. The community pulled off the surprise Wednesday. You can see he just looks completely surprised, doesn't he? Well, Mr. <laughs> Jeff is going to the possible series clinching game now, uh, which would be game four on Saturday after the Nationals beat uh, Justin Verlander and uh, Keelan Cole, or not Keelan Cole, that's a receiver. Who was the other guy? You're asking me. The, yeah, <laughs> You're right. asking me a sports-related question. The other question. ace, Garrett Cole. I'm sorry for the Houston Nationals. So they have a 2 nothing lead. Let's, you know better than that. Come is, on. I now. look at you, like, for help. Uh, help me with not, the sports and fact. And with sports, it's not happening. Speaking of, Jamie's out live today. Doing